Everyone across the borderland, listen up. If you have an interest in becoming a firefighter for El Paso, we have some good news, and that is they are hiring. Some good news for a lot of people out there. KTSM 9 News reporter Jasmine Perry, she's live out at fire station number five in central El Paso with all the details. Jasmine, good morning, and I see that you're ready for action there this morning. <laughs> Good morning, Brenda and Trevor. It takes hard work and dedication to pr pursue this career. And I spoke to a fi firefighter and tells me if you have what it takes, the door is right open. If you want to save lives and be there for the people of El Paso, the El Paso Fire Department is hiring. There's just a world of different things that you can do just within the fire service. If you become a firefighter right when you turn 18, by the time you're 38, you will receive retirement pay as long as you complete the 20 years. Which kind of makes us a little bit unique to PD because you have to be 21 with all the firearm stuff. But with us, you can come straight out of high school, 18 years old. Jane Nicholson is a fire suppression technician driver for the El Paso Fire Department, and he says becoming a firefighter has been a true blessing. When we're out on the trucks and we're cruising, whether we're on the way to the call, on the way back from a call, whatever, people notice us because it lets them know that we're out in the community and we're there for their benefit and for their safety. To join the Fire Academy, you have to have at least 24 college credits, an associate's degree, or have served in the military for more than two years. Very fortunately, right now, we are actively hiring, so the academies are running like clockwork. It's usually going to be, I would say, about 90 days or so to get through the whole hiring process, and then once you get through the application process, you'll have to go through the um, candidate physical assessment test, you'll have to go through your oral boards and a couple other little things to get started in the academy. To obtain a certification for the job, you can attend the El Paso Community College Fire Tech program, or you can volunteer at the department in Horizon, Montana Vista, or West Valley. And once you start attending the academy, they will cover all costs, such as your EMT and firefighter certifications and physical tests, plus the application. But on the downside, don't expect any bonuses right now. We don't really have a retention bonus. Once you're hired in, you're in. Uh, we are contractual, though, so the contract right now is on a rotation of about four years and we're in contract negotiations right now that will affect all of the employees going forward but as far as any kind of bonuses or anything like that there's nothing now during your time in the academy you can earn up to 48 thousand dollars within the, which varies in the city of El Paso. Now after graduation your salary will be between 44 to 69 thousand dollars. Reporting in East, uh, reporting in Central El Paso, I'm Jasmine Perry, KTSM 9 News. Thank you Jasmine.